We're here at Fir Park this afternoon, joined with the Motherwell manager, Stuart Kettlewell. Stuart, tied at the top of the league with Celtic. You've collected 40 points since you've taken over. Celtic's collected 42. What's the secret? I'm gutted about two points were short. Uh, no, genuinely, it's, uh, it's it's been a great run. I think the secret is um, to get the buy-in from everybody at the football club. You know, you've always you always got a plan of how you want things to work, and you know, look at specific game plans, how you want the football club to run. Um, but again, those plans that that's all they are, unless you get the buy-in from uh, the important people at the football club, which for me is always the staff and the players. Um, and we've had that, um, we've had plenty of that from the group. Um, and I always spoke it right at the start as well that we had to be a, a football club in my opinion and we will have to moving forward we have to be a club that has a variety to what we do and um, dealing with different situations we can't be a kind of one size fits all we can't just be on that plan a all the time and I think yesterday was a great example of that we had to we had to revert to a plan b um, a situation was thrown at us where you know you're, you're at one of the toughest venues and you find yourself down to 10 men but you have something to hold on to and my goodness, I think the players uh, showed you how much that meant to them. You know, putting their body on the line, um, the togetherness that they showed, and um, all those aspects have been um, pivotal in terms of what you what you talk about that record. If you talk about forty points, what have we needed to get there? We've needed all of that. Um, but I think that another pleasing aspect is when you look at the goal yesterday and that type of quality that we have in our team. When we start to link and connect with certain players in our team, were a were a threat for anyone. Are you close to playing a certain type of style that you want to get to? Yeah, I think I think we. Um, I, I always talk about you know when I first came in here, the the players led me to to a, to a shape and a formation. Um, always, my principles will will stay in place. You know, um, you know, ever since I started uh, first started coaching sort of nine years ago or whatever it was, um, I've got those principles that have stayed with me. But I think the players, the personnel, will often lead you to the shape and um, certain. Uh, attributes that you may have in your group and, and I think it can be, again this is only my opinion, it can be naive if I come in here and, and I start to think that um, I'm going to try and make players play a certain way which doesn't fit towards what their their attributes are and, and, and very much for me it's been a case of trying to make sure that I can bring the best out in the qualities they have. Every player here has something to offer. Um, some have been frustrated at times, maybe not getting as much opportunity. Um, the turnaround of players over the summer has presented opportunities to one or two others um, and I think that it's just really, really important from a management point of view, and especially when you're a club like Motherwell, that my job is that I have to try and get the best out of them. And I think it's fair to say that we're getting every ounce out of the, the group that we possibly can at this minute in time, and, and we'll strive to continue to do that as well. Is there anything that's disappointed you yet or not hit your standards just now? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I, I'm far from somebody that gets carried away. I mean, all we've done is we've started the league campaign well. Um, I spoke long enough last season about how good we were last season. Thought we started the via play really well in terms of the, the group stage. We're disappointed to go out that cup competition. That one still sits and sticks in the throat a little bit. Of course it does. Um, 45 minutes against Kilmarnock. So again, I'm always looking to be a perfectionist. I think that's again my job to to do that. Um, I'm not somebody that gets carried away with anything I do. I'm always thinking about the, the next task in hand and um, I think that's the bit that drives me and motivates me and I think if we can try and make sure that that's instilled in our group of players as well that yeah we got a really good one yesterday good clean sheet, we find ourselves in a, a real positive position um, but everything we do in the next 13-14 uh, days is working towards St Mirren and making sure that we go and show that version of ourselves again and I think if we just sit here comfortable and almost kind of right the end of the story then uh, we, we would be as well not doing the job so that, that, that for me is a mentality and and uh, certainly it's always been my thing that I never ever feel that I get to enjoy uh, wins and uh, runs and all that sort of stuff too much because you're always thinking the next thing. But again, that is a, a real motivator for myself. And as of late, uh, Scottish teams haven't done so well in Europe. Do you feel there's a responsibility for us in the top flight to make sure that these younger players like you're doing here at Motherwell have the capacity to play 60, 70 games a season? Yeah, I, I, I do, I do. Um, there's no magic wand in it. You know, you have to have talent. Um, I spoke about this, I think it was last week as well, when I mentioned that, you know, I, I'm not I'm, I'm not scared to play young players. I'm not scared to throw in, you know, I think I spoke last week, I think we had four 17-year-olds, an 18-year-old and a 19-year-old in a squad. That's pretty incredible. I think in terms of, you know, if you look right across the country, I don't think there'll be many, if any, other teams that have that uh, that sort of statistic. Um, but again, it's, it's so important that I show a trust 
trust in them. Um, I'll reference Len Lennon Miller, who's who's been outstanding for us so far this season. Everyone's starting to see what kind of talent he is. Um, his emotional intelligence on the on the pitch yesterday in a high pressure uh, game, he looked as if he had played five six hundred games of football. If he makes a mistake, uh, I'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to start to throw the toys out the pram. I'm not going to start to think about whipping him off the pitch because um, it's, it is that bigger picture. We are under pressure as managers. We have to get results. We have to make sure that our teams are performing and doing well. But I also do feel that there's a bit of a duty of care to to Scottish football that if we have that talent, it's important that I show our trust in them. It's important that I show them what I think is the first step in what should be or hopefully will be a, a successful career. I see that as my job. I'm not preaching to everyone to say that they have to do it. It's just always been something from my early days, Kerry, of um, being involved at Queen's Park that that was that was the makeup that young players were given opportunity and, and guidance and, and, and time to, to develop and evolve as, as players so it's something I believe in it's something that I'll try and stick to as much as I possibly can but it will never be done in a way that just because they're young they get an opportunity they have to be shown the credentials that they can play and, uh, and, and go and achieve here at this football club and if they do that they'll get my full support and in the long term hopefully that helps sort of profit and, and, and benefit Scottish football. And finally, is this break coming at a bad time for you, considering the momentum, or how will you use this time? No, I think it's uh, maybe it comes at a good time. Um, we've got so many injuries just now, um, which I've spoke about, and it's been a tough, tough few weeks for us. We've lost a lot of key players. Um, we've a lot of guys that look as if they've got pretty nasty injuries. Um, we've got a few guys that completed the ninety minutes yesterday that have been through the mire for us. You know, they've put their body in the line, and they need a little bit of time to recover. Um, but the flip side of that is that we've we've got a bounce game here tomorrow. We'll play Command here in a bounce game tomorrow um, and that, that tees up a really good opportunity for guys that have maybe been sitting on the bench for some of our young under 18s to play in that game so it'll be a bit of a mixed bag there um, so it's just trying to tidy everything up I think we've got five players away in international duty as well so we always cross our fingers that these guys come back in a, in a, in a good place and hopefully they will do um, so in terms of the break yeah of course we want to keep playing games and try and keep our momentum but there's certain aspects that maybe it does come at a, a reasonable time for us and it gives us that extra week to try and tidy things up and maybe get one or two players back on the pitch and get them back fit. Stuart, thanks very much for your time. That was great. Thank you.